Hello viewers, um, yes we are back out in the shed again, um, yeah it's been a little while but yep yeah, we're back into it again, hopefully we're going to find some time to do some fishing and some other stuff for you to watch, but I thought I would kick off by making a video I've been wanting to do for a little while, I've had two requests to do it, you know who you are and it's making sinkers the what using the molds what I have um, it's all pretty much the same there's loads of different molds out there but yeah I'll just run through the way I do it and the sinkers I make so yeah thank you for watching commenting um, and liking and all that stuff it's really good and um, I appreciate it and yeah it keeps me going that's for sure um, yeah, so enjoy. Let's go. Right. Firstly, obviously, you need your lead. Obviously, we need the molds. I have snapper sinkers, bean sinkers, um, estuary sinkers, balls, beans, and flat half pyramids star sinkers it's a triple mold and spoon sinkers these are all the sinkers i generally need for my fishing um you need clamps for the molds you can use g clamps you can use these clamps i wish i had a collection of them because they're they're pretty much the best they're just hands-on you beauty done I got a vise, you can use them, or I've got a drill, a drill press vise as well, you can use them. Any sort of clamp to hold these things together for you to pull the lead in. If you don't use a clamp, it's going to fall apart, lead everywhere. You need a pot, a pot for your lead. It's an old pot, I have actually bent a little spout onto this pot for the pouring there's some lead in there while I had a little practice run day before yesterday actually because I haven't made sinkers for ages I can't just jump jump into it and do it for you guys and get it wrong and there's my little little heater my little gas heater for melting the lead okay you need some wire Turn this around, turn that down, you need some wire, this is, this one is stainless wire, anyway, I'm not going to lie, I haven't tried the stainless spot, they say the lead doesn't stick to stainless steel very well, it didn't stick to the galvanised, but I'm going to try the stainless, see that nice rod what I've taken off this stainless roll okay so what what that is for is these sinker molds what you know go together like that but you gotta have the hole in the sinker so you know you gotta have your your wire in there obviously to form the hole and then you clamp it together get in there properly and you pour the sinkers into these holes and that's that so yeah clamp pour right so that's what that's for let me show you how I get the wire straight because you want that wire as straight as possible so for that I need a little hammer and what I do is Get a piece of this off. Okay. Say so we, we want a piece of this, this one here. So that's got to be that long. I want to cut that off right there. Uh, 
All right, so there's a, a real bent piece of wire. I hope you can see that properly. So what I'm going to do is put it on the bench, get my hammer, and I'm going to bang it and rotate it. takes a little bit of time but not long there you go looking a lot straighter isn't it that's not bad at all nice and straight fit into this mold lovely that spot on you know There you go, nice piece of wire in there. Excellent. Right, I've also got here, yeah, pointy nose pliers, because for the star sinkers, you're going to need eyelets to put onto your sinker to connect your swivel onto your line. So all I do with for them is my wire, bend it, bend it, bend it, cut it off. There you go. There's a, a little hoop or whatever you want to call it for your sinker. Right. Okay. Um, that's that bit. Um, you'll also need a pair of snips. Tin snips are handy or whatever types of snips because sometimes you have to to make it easier to melt your lead, you gotta cut it up. Cuts really easy, see? Doink. Little pieces into the, into your pot. And away you go. Before, before I start melting this lead, I've just gotta say, do not get water near this stuff. Do not get water near anything what you are molding with heat. If you get any water inside of a mold and you pour it, it'll blow up in your face and you'll lose your eyes or you'll whatever. It would be horrible. So no water. Don't even have a drink around when you're doing it. Safety gear. Gloves, you're gonna find out you need gloves pretty quick because <laughs> you ain't gonna you ain't gonna be able to pick anything up. These are these aren't the best gloves to use, but they're better than nothing. They will they'll help. Yeah, so no water, gloves. Um that is it. Get rid of the pets, get rid of the kids, okay? Right, let's take me heater outside. Oh right, there it is take this outside because when I was younger I used to do it in sheds and it stinks uh, and I, my lungs aren't the best these days they've been abused so don't abuse yours and um, look after them and they'll look after you so that's going outside to melt my lid so I'm gonna take it out there now okay this is where I'll do it what do you think of my view it's not bad is it Okay, let's get on. Right, I've got my stove there. I got it sitting on a couple of bricks because the table is wooden. I don't want to catch the table on fire. I got some spare gas for that. 
it lasts a little it lasts doesn't last too bad i'm not going to leave that sitting in the sun i just wanted to show you just put that in the shade out of the way all right and here's my thread okay i'll just mm -hmm. okay guys that one wouldn't work this one wouldn't lock down onto the gas bottle what sits in here like that one yeah i don't know what went wrong with that so i've lucky i got another one so i can carry on with my video <laughs> all right close that up and what we do here if that's the wrong way around that won't work i think you've you got to turn that around and then that locks on that's what that one wouldn't do so now that's on now i can just simply start it just like a stove there we go it's going okay we'll put my lid onto there and it's such a nice such a nice day out here there's not too much wind it should be able to get hot enough and melt yeah so i'll see you when it's melted away she goes okay um i've got another pot here i'm gonna put it on there yeah let's just sit it on there for a lid <laughs> help hold that heat and i guess that's gonna help even more isn't it so yeah she's getting there look at that can you see that poisonous gases coming off there? Definitely better outside or in a vent, very well ventilated area. Okay. Okay, the um, lead is nearly ready, so now what I've got to do, I'm going to clamp my molds in all, all the different clamps I'm using. <laughs> Just to show you, they do work. What I'm going to do, I'm not going to stuff around taking the mold out preheating it because you've got to preheat your mold you've got to get it hot to help the lead pour into the shape of the mold so yeah i'm lucky that the um heater what broke down i got it going again so i can use that one to preheat my molds while my lead is still staying nice and hot so what i'll do here Hey there, I think that's it, yeah, you can see that. I'll turn, all right, that's staying down now. I'll turn that on, that's on. Mold is in the clamp, so I'm just gonna, simple as that. My clamp ain't gonna melt, <laughs> it's just gonna get hot. Everything's gonna get hot. So it don't matter, does it? Okay. Got my gloves, so I don't burn my hands. Right, I'll preheat the mold and I'll show you I'm gonna preheat them all the same way I've got I've got you know that mold in that clamp for the ball sinkers this is the stainless wire in that one as well stainless so we'll do these two first and we'll see how they go right we're finally ready to begin Firstly, you can check the slag. There's not much slag in here. I've just removed a bit. That's just the rubbish what's on top. When you remove that, you'll lose a bit of lead. That's okay. There, throw that out. That is clean enough. Look how shiny it is. That's really nice. So that's ready to pour. That mold has been preheated. That one is probably ready now. So I'll take that one off there as well. I'll pour these two. Love, all right, get that off. That down there, that's ready to go. Got my spoon sinkers. Um, I'll actually try and hold this with one hand and pour with the other. I got my lid. Let's go. Here we go. Nice pour into them holes, constant, steady pour. Here we go. Happens real quick. Here we go. That one. 
Wupp. Und. Wupp. Und. Wupp. 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 Excellent. Put that down again, hot hand. Ow, 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 ow. Put that back on the heater. Right, so they're done. Open them in a minute. Do me spoons, these are great for rock fishing. Here we go. Look at that beautiful spoon sinker. And this one. Lovely back on the heat with that you might want to angle it get a bit more heat on the spout see how that's frozen that lid we'll have to come back to that let's open up these sinkers okay <clears throat> This is where a screwdriver comes in handy, see? You can ply your mould apart if it sticks a bit. Like well, that. We got some lovely, lovely brand new ball sinkers. Now let's hope we'll snip the excess off and pull the wire out, hopefully. We'll do that in the shed. And there, got the beans. Okay, there we go. Lovely. Now let's hope we can, <clears throat> excuse me, hope we can get that wire out of them beans. We'll do that in a shed. Right. Hmm. The lead's got to melt again. Let's go in the shed. Okay. All right. Still very hot. You know, one might be tempted to throw that in some water to cool it down, but no. Just leave the water out of it. Put it with a heat. All right, I've got to get them out. Pliers often work good for this. Let's grab that. Oh, just slipped right out. Lovely. These ones. That's holding it in. It's clamped on the back. That yeah, should come out now. There we go. Right. Oh, there's one. A little bit of effort. Oh, there's another. That come off easy. Might come off easy. This one will have to hold the wire with the pliers just to get it off. There we go. Always one. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. There we go. All right, they're all off. Yippee. Will that just pull out like that? Probably not. No. Gonna gonna have to snip them off as close as you like, I guess. Gonna hold the bottom a bit better, aren't they? Guess we can clean them up better once they're all off. No, pull them off. Yep. 
Yep. Yep. Yep. Well, I used galvanized wire yesterday, or the day before. Didn't work as good as this one. I'll trim all them up later, but there's a few running sinkers. All right, let's go do the rest. Well, look guys, Mitzi's just showed up. <laughs> so I thought I'd show her to you. Now you're um, well over 20 years old now. You, She actually starred in a video filleting a flathead not long ago. So you will see that. Hey Mitz. You're looking all right, aren't you? There you go. All right, we'll get onto the sinkers. Right, that's all pre nearly remelted. What I like to do, what I didn't show you, you've got to be careful though, is angle that so the spout tries starts to get a bit hotter as well. So that's the first place it freezes when you're pouring. Hmm, looking all right. I reckon, I reckon I'll be able to get them done. Then we'll melt some more lead and do the star sinkers. Okay, here we go. Oh, lovely. Hope the wife doesn't mind me pinching the spoons out the drawer. Well, what she doesn't know doesn't hurt. <laughs> I'm getting hot. Oh, nice. Well, that's that. I need to get some more lead in there to get these these ones poured. Right, I'll get that going. Okay, right. Them moulds are preheated, my snapper sinkers and them SB sinkers, them other ones, so let's pour them. Hopefully they turn out. Oh that one's not going to work because it's locked up. I think you might have saw that. Okay, I'll pour these snapper sinkers. I actually made the holes bigger in this mold. They were really small before and I just couldn't pour them. They kept freezing halfway, so I drilled them out, made them bigger. I think I got a little bit carried away. Okay. But anyway, it should, it's, it works. Good enough for what I want. Right. One, two, it's getting a bit warm. Let's remelt it so we can pour the last one of these. In she goes. Hopefully that's worked. You're right. We'll move these out of the way and we'll do my star sinker. There's my mold. What I've, oh, before I do that, there's all my eyelets on here. They're standing up ready for me to just grab with the pliers so I, I don't have to pick them up. So I'll just grab one of them now. There you go. He's ready to hold into my star sinker mold. Pour away. Right. First two. I hold my eye in there ready and as steady as I can and pour the lead. There's one, hold on to it for a moment while it just sets. That's that. Now I'll just grab a, another eyelet. 
and I'll quickly pour this on the lid. I'll hold that in there. Away we go. Done. Lid back on the heater. Just hold that there a moment, and that's okay. Now you can generally pop them out straight away, see? That's nice. Pop this one out. Just fall out, and we'll turn it over. And we'll do another one. Right, I'll grab a thing. Hold it in there and pull. Nice. Hold it steady. That's done, pop it out. Lovely, so there's three like that. I'll just turn that back over and show you. You don't have to use. Oh, I've just got to get hold of this. You don't have to use the same size as what's in there. You can pour them out however big you like. I'll hold that right down in there. Lovely, a bit smaller again. And you can go smaller. Well, let's just, that's it. Let me hold it right down in there. There you go, another lovely little sinker. No, you try hard, you can get smaller and smaller. Now all i got to do is clean up these... Look, I really did over pour these spoon sinkers. That'll break off. There you go. Perfect for rock fishing. You won't get snagged on the rocks using these. Don't really need cleaning up. All I need... Is a drill yeah, nice eyelets Okay, here we are. Let's open these up and see how we went. Right, I do know that one didn't work okay, so I'll cover myself. There's our little glory pile. <laughs> I'll put my gloves on because they are yeah, still a bit warm. Okay, let's look at these snapper leads. I hope they've turned out. Driver. Here we go. Okay, well there you go. <laughs> We've got five what have turned out and one what hasn't. We got half a sinker. That's still alright though, still a sinker. And it's probably around two and a half ounces. Right, let's pull them out. Ready to 
clean. Put them there. Now let's open this. Let's see what we got. They open pretty easily. There you go, we've got both of the estuary sinkers, which is good. I don't really mind losing that one ball sinker. Awesome. So, pull that out. Ah, there you go. Now we'll pull them off that wire. Well, that one came off without too much trouble. So did that half a ball sinker. That's still usable, for sure. Why well, waste it? It's got a hole in it. <laughs> Let's get me pliers. Pull this one off. There you go. We just needed better pliers. <laughs> awesome. So right. What I'll do, I'll clean these up with my snips and we'll show you the finished product. Okay guys, we are finished. There's all the stuff what was involved in making the sinkers. And yet yeah, there are the finished sinkers. <laughs> awesome. Look, I even made up some burly springs for, you know, the snapper. They're good on the snapper sinkers on broken bottom. Obviously good off the beach on your star sinkers. Also great with a spoon sinker on your broken bottom or on the rocks. And for in and this stainless, that is stainless wire, that early spring. This stainless wire isn't, isn't pure stainless wire. It's the stainless wire they use for tying bags. 1.6 mil thick. Um, it's not that cheap, but it's okay. It lasts a long time don't get carried away using it <laughs> right um, the burly springs if you want to learn how to make them just refer back to my video on how to make burly springs here's the uh, sinkers these are terrific amount these are what I made over a couple of days made some today to show you and the other day to practice yeah nice array of snapper sinkers Lovely, good, good for me, all sizes, so rip the bag. <laughs> Some of them failed, but they're still sinkers, aren't they? Ball sinkers for whiting underneath the float. Um, yeah, in rivers, these flat ones are great in rivers. They, you know, and in a current because running flat sinkers don't roll around, obviously. Um, there's one what left the wire in and it made a sinker like that star sinkers all different sizes six ounce i think that is down to three ounce i think that is uh, there's no weight on them and my scales don't work so i couldn't weigh them um but yeah spoon sinkers too they are terrific they worked out really good that's quite big they're lovely easy to make as you saw with all, all them sinkers, make these as small, small as you like for some mullet sinkers in the surf as well. I do buy a lot of the small sinkers, but these are the ones I make. They're terrific. Okay. Well, that's me finished, guys. Um, sorry for going on, but you know what I'm like. Um, but yeah, I hope that's helped. Those of you who, you know, wanted to pick up some or learn something about moulding your own, own sinkers. It's pretty straightforward. If you do it, just be careful. Um, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching and all that stuff. I appreciate everything, what you do. Love the comments. Great. <laughs> thank you for watching. Adios until our next adventures where that might be. There will be some more for sure. Thank you. Boy.